Welcome to this video. This video explains how we could create an efficient mesh with variable mesh size by adaptive remeshing. We can use coarse mesh for solving the problem but the result will be inaccurate and also computational cost is low. If we use fine mesh, the computational cost will increase but the result will be more accurate. But another option is to use adaptivity techniques to create a mesh with variable size. In this manner, we can refine mesh in some places that we have a stress concentration and in other places we can use coarse mesh. By this way, we both have low computational cost and refine mesh in some places. You can see the result of adaptivity techniques in some of these problems. We have refined mesh in some critical place in these problems. The adaptivity technique can help us to know what element size is suitable for our simulation. In fact, it can help us to do mesh dependency easier. Where should we refine the mesh? It helps us to find the places that need refined mesh and how to create a mesh with variable size. A complicated mesh size distribution is needed for some problem and this technique automatically create this mesh based on the stress concentration and stress variation results. In continue, I will explain how to use adaptivity technique in Abacus environment. At first in part module, we create a plate with hole. The plate is 2D planar and deformable and we use shell to dry it and then we create a rectangle by its coordinates and then we cut the holes from the rectangle the central hole is ellipse and two other holes are circles we use create ellipse and create circles to draw the holes Then we create a material for the hole plate. The material is elastic linear. And we enter the numbers in megapascal units. And then create a section and assign the section to the model. Then we insert the instance to the assembly module and we create a step. The material is linear and, uh, and solving this problem and conversion so this problem is easy. For boundary condition, we fix one side of the model. At first, we fix one point totally by encaster and then a symmetry on the left border. We define X symmetry for the left border of the model and then we can create a boundary condition for moving the other side. The main part of using adaptive remeshing is the mesh module. At first we assign mesh control to the model. We should use quad dominated. We cannot use quad mesh for adaptive remeshing and we should 
use free machine not structured then we define the mesh size set the part and then apply mesh control to the model the solving is a standard and plain stress problem and then we can mesh the model and the most important part is to use adaptivity remeshing rule and create a remeshing rule for this domain we should define the step at first that we want to apply adaptive remeshing and the error indicator should be defined here that we choose the energy error indicator and we have also some other setting that we will discuss in our future videos then we can run the problem and has some initial results for calculating the error indicator we create a job and then submit it we can monitor the job and we can see the results of course the result is not good and we have a stress concentration with coarse mesh here we should refine mesh near the holes we come to the mesh module and use manual remeshing technique and select our ODB file from the previous run and then we can calculate the error indicator and then we can remesh the model by the calculated error indicator by clicking remeshing we can see that very easily we have a new mesh that is refined near the holes where stress concentration exists and course in other place we can run the problem another time and see that the technique helped us to have more accurate result especially near the holes where stress concentration is significant thank you guys for watching this video in our next video we will explain how to use adaptivity techniques to create your improved mesh automatically if this video has helped you out please let us know by a like or subscribe see you in the next video